Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary Grace and today we are diving back in to more Heartstopper. I'm very excited. I'm very nervous actually. I'm more nervous than excited because last time Nick and Charlie finally had their little kiss. They had their little moment. Nick is figuring everything out and that's totally fine. And then he was like, can we not tell anybody at school? Cause like, I'm not ready to come out yet. And I don't even know what I'm coming out as. Am I gay? Am I bi? I don't know. I took a quiz that said I was 63% homosexual. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Nick and Tao also had a little moment, not a cute moment. Bit of an upsetting moment, actually. I was not happy with Tao. He threw a rugby ball at the back of Nick's head uh, after Harry threw a rugby ball at Tao's head. And it's just like, there's a lot of tension. There's a lot of like, there's so many things that are not being said. So many emotions not being expressed to literally anybody who's affected by them and it's frustrating me. I just want some resolution and I feel like I'm not gonna get it this time around. I feel like it's just gonna get messier because Miss Imogen, Miss Don't Worry I'm an Ally Imogen, <laughs> she was basically going around throwing herself at Nick and then being like, yeah, Nick and I are basically together when they weren't. Like, nothing had been established yet. And at the end of the last episode, Imogen asked Nick on a date. And Nick said yes, because it was in front of a group of people. And it was freaking Harry who was like, oh, what, you're finally gonna make a move? You're finally gonna ask Nick out? And there was just like a bunch of people just watching her. Obviously, she's gonna ask him out in front of the group of people after she just got called out by Harry. Little shit that he is. <laughs> yeah, and then Nick said yes. Because, yeah, he was in front of a group of people. I totally understand why he said yes, even though he's like kind of with Charlie right now. Even though they haven't like m made it official or like labeled it between themselves. I don't know. I'm so nervous. But multiple people have said that episode five is their favorite episode of the whole show. So I don't know what that means. I don't know what's in store. I'm very nervous. I just feel like it's just gonna get messier and messier and I feel like we're not gonna get the resolutions that I want this episode uh, or in these next two episodes, but I don't know. I'm excited because people say that this is their favorite episode. I'm nervous because I don't know where we're going from here. So season one, episode five is called Friend and we're gonna get right into it now and start watching. And I'm very nervous, okay. Um. Oh, we're having game night, fun. Because I'm clearly winning. I just have unlucky rolls. No, I'm winning because I have more money. Does anyone know how Monopoly works? I don't, I don't think I've ever played a full game of Monopoly. You only have more money because you know all the Monopoly cheats. You can't cheat at Monopoly. I think you could cheat at Monopoly. You just, when you're the banker, you just take all the money and you put it in your pocket and then you're like, whoa, look at all the money I got. Monopoly is definitely the worst game for it's game night. It's a good time to tell someone that their crush is going on a date with someone else. <gasps> oh my gosh, yeah, they know. If they say anything mean to Charlie, I'm going to crush them. Crush them. <laughs> Verbally. That's really sweet. See, I, I know I've kind of been like shitting on Tao a little bit because he's like so unsupportive of the Nick and Charlie thing, but I understand where he's coming from. Like he just wants to protect his friend. Like he watched Charlie go through all of the bullying last year. So I understand why he feels like that, why he's so um, like protective of him, why he doesn't want him to be associated with Nick because Nick is associated with all of the kids who bullied Charlie. From the, the perspective that we're being told the story, I'm just like, no, I want you to love them the way that I love them. But Tao doesn't know everything yet. So it's like, I get it. Also, Tao and Elle vibes, right? Like we keep, I need more. I want more of them. And I want them to like confirm something, you know? I want them to confirm that they have feelings for each other. Cause I can see it. I can see the tension in the air between these two. We're not being entertaining enough. Are no, you? you're not. You're being annoying. Huh? See, they're really cute like this. Should I perhaps perform a piece of interpretive dance? Yes. See, I like this. This is like the bit of their friend group that I wanted to see last time. 
Love it. Ooh, get it. I was thinking of inviting Nick to my birthday thing on Saturday. I really want him to come, but I don't want to be awkward or weird for any of you since you don't really know him. I assumed he was coming anyway. <laughs> Isaac, he's so cute. <sighs> I'm so nervous. Is he gonna tell her? About our date. <gasps> is he gonna cancel the date? Cancel the date. Sure if. Oh, why is she crying? Are you okay? <laughs> no. Okay, I'm not okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> no. This is the worst week ever. Oh. What were you going to say about our date? Nothing. <laughs> how do you, how? How do you, how do you push off a date? How do you cancel a date now? How? Oh, my God. This is, I told you, messy. It's just going to be the perfect storm. You're sitting in. Okay. <gasps> day on Saturday. Yes. Me and my friends are going bowling and Fun. I was going to ask you to come, but I know you don't really know them, so you don't have to. Yes. Oh. You know what I mean? Hyped for your date on Saturday. Date with Charlie. Imogen told me you're meeting up on Saturday. Oh, crap. <laughs> like, she's telling everyone, actually. She's been telling everyone since before they ever actually had a date. Hey, oh, Harry, 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 I'm going to fucking kill you. Watch out, dick nozzle. Stop picking on people for no reason. That's right. You gave her that. Oh my god, someone punch him. Oh, I need someone to punch him. Oh, I need someone to punch him. Life must be really hard when your only personality trait is Rich Bellend. Yeah! <laughs> I love that Bellend is an English, like, insult. I, it's my favorite insult that the UK has. It's so funny. I said I'd go on a date with this girl, but I kind of also agreed to go to Charlie's birthday party on the same day. Oh, do you like this girl? No. Her dog died. Ah, uh, not for long. <laughs> yeah, it's not a good reason to go on a date with her. Yeah, you know, you shouldn't go out with someone just because you feel sorry for them. Yeah, that's very true. It's great advice, Mom. Good job, thank you. <laughs> bowling! Wait, did he, did he cancel with Imogen then? Because it's Charlie's birthday, they're bowling. <gasps> Yay! Stop it, he's got the little 15 on his... <laughs> Adorable. You definitely cheese it. Oh yeah? How? Oh. You have strong rugby arms and unfair advantage. I thought you liked my arms. Shut up. <laughs> He's flirting out in public. I'm gonna go talk to him. Oh no. Tao. Tao. Tao no. It's his birthday. Yeah. Just let him have it. Let him have these moments. Oh, you're going to talk to Charlie? I thought he was going to talk to Nick. <gasps> no. Oh my God. Sorry. Stop. Don't Hello. do this. Hi. <laughs> Fancy meeting you here in the loo. She's going on a date with this girl. I heard him agree to it after that rugby match the other week. <gasps> no. Nick's basically risking everything by hanging out with me. So wow. I feel so sorry for the popular rugby lad who's almost getting picked on because he dares to hang out with someone below his popularity status. You know that's not what I meant. Do you really think he's messing me around? I don't think he is. That's what it looks like. But... No. <laughs> oh, Wait. no. Friend. This is heartbreaking. This is your favorite episode? You like to be emotionally tortured? Get out of town. I don't like this episode so far. I'm being tormented emotionally. What's happening? Oh. <laughs> no. The sweet babies. <sighs> this is the cutest animation they've had so far. If this thing with Charlie is a joke or not. But for some reason, he really likes you, and you're messing with him. He's not! And I will not tolerate it. So consider this your final warning. If he was messing with him, why would he go to his birthday? Yeah. <sighs> you're right. You're a good friend. I know. I don't like that answer, Nick. I wish I'd met you when I was younger. Stop. I wish I'd... Known then what I know now. <laughs> no being sad on my birthday. <laughs> okay, I get it. They're really cute. I know why it's your favorite episode. I kind of want to see your reaction. <gasps> He's opening the present. Oh my god, what do you get him? What do you get him? St 
Stop it. Sorry, it's a bit handmade. Stop it, that's precious. That was just one of my favorite days. Ever? Okay, that's perfect. I really like you. You like me. Oh, look at his smile. Look at him. Oh. oh, my heart. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm being murdered by cuteness. Oh. I want to kiss you so bad right now. <laughs> I want them to kiss so bad right now. Is he going to do it? Is he going to? Okay. <gasps> really? Wait. get it. I know why it's your favorite episode now. <laughs> Sweet babies. My heart can't handle this. Oh my god, is he texting a vision right now? <gasps> oh my god, he literally went before he canceled the date. Honestly, iconic. <laughs> I think I have to. I think I have to. Quick, quick, quick. I knew it. I sensed it. Sensed the vibes. It was very obvious, but. Stop it! Look at her looking at Dow. <laughs> Shut up. They're so cute. I love seeing them like this when they're not. When Tao's not like upset about something and just bitching. <laughs> Hi, girl. Sorry. Don't like you like that. You're a really nice person. But. It's just not meant to like be like that. that. You just supposed to be friends it's hard but it's better to know the truth than to be strung along you know do you ever feel like you're only doing things because everyone else is mm. your real personality is oh is he gonna tell her buried inside you oh he's being like really honest right now i guess um, that's how i've been feeling recently Wow. Oh, oh, I just got chills. Oh, I think that's just kind of like a universal teenage thing, you know? When you're trying to figure it out. So, how was your date? Hey, Harry, your hair is stupid and I want to hit you in the face. <sighs> All right, I get it. I totally get why episode five is, uh, is a favorite of people's. Because uh, that was very different from, I think, all of the episodes that we've watched so far where it's like we had a lot of like emotional vulnerability between a lot of characters. I feel like there was a lot of development, a lot of growth between characters and uh, in, like character relationships in this episode. Um, yeah, wow, that was a really good episode. And we are now going on to episode six called girls but i want ellen tao to get together so i want more between them because they were really cute in this episode oh cute best lgbt movies are you think something i'm gonna dish up the pizzas oh my god he's gonna choose a gay movie to watch with his mom love that i've got it pirates of the caribbean it's a classic what do you think yeah what if we watched a gay movie instead mom Remember that summer when you were like 11 and we had to watch this every evening? It wasn't every evening. It definitely was, because I could quote it word for word by the end of it. <laughs> and I knew it was because you loved Kira Knightley. But mum. Who doesn't love Kira Knightley, honestly? Oh, she's gorgeous. And Orlando Bloom. Whew, they're both. That's a bisexual's nightmare. Or dream. Whoa. Whoa. He's like, does my mom know that I'm looking at him too? I started having feelings for guys too. And that's when I realized I'm bisexual. Love! You don't look like a lesbian. Yeah, delete the comment. Texting Tao again. Interesting. Interesting indeed. What are you implying? What do you think I'm implying? I love Darcy. She's so fun. I think I have a crush on Tao. <laughs> I think so too! He's my best friend. and. He definitely doesn't like me back. Shut up, he definitely does. Stop, that's such a cute picture. 
You're too pretty to be a lesbian? Get the fuck out of here. Ugh. Oh. It's never gonna work. I always see you coming. One day, one day I'll get you. Mind the door. That's the one that locks you in if you let it shut. You realize this is the room. The room? <laughs> a special room. Aww. Got locked in and our first kiss. Aw, cute. I feel like she's gone through it. Hi, Nick. Tara, you're in the orchestra too? Yeah. I have literally no musical ability. Charlie tried to teach me the drums once, and I am absolutely crap. <laughs> you and Charlie getting along well then? Yeah. Best friends! Besties! Actually... Well... <gasps> Is he gonna tell her? We're sort of going out. Ah! Are you? I mean, Shut we up. haven't made it official or anything. Oh my god. Oh my god! I love- Please don't tell anyone, though. No, of course. <laughs> Shut up, I love it! Are you and Darcy out to your friends then? Since I, uh... Okay, this gym is so echoey. <laughs> There's no way no one heard that. No one heard that. Darcy! <laughs> she got her! We're here all day if you want to meet us for lunch. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Fun! Gay friends, gay friends, gay friends! Oh my god, do you know what we need to do? Double date! Us and Charlie, tomorrow night, before the concert, milkshakes. So cute! I love it. Don't feel like you have to come out to anyone before you're ready. But I love that he told them. That's so sweet. You're kind of the first people I've told about Charlie. Really? Yeah. And does it feel good to have told someone? Yeah. 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 I love them. Friendship is so magical. I love it. You know, I was uh, talking to Tara at the rehearsal today. Yeah? I told her we're going out. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> oh, stop it! Stop it! <laughs> that was precious? <laughs> yeah, not the best idea. Since when were you coming to this? I thought it was just bribery from Charlie to get me to come to his boring concert today. So you're just making <laughs> shakes then? I said what I said. <laughs> They're so cute. So, how did you two become friends? I was friends with Charlie first, and then Tal came along as a package deal. Ah! <laughs> Rude! <laughs> You're lucky to have me. You make a cute little pair. <laughs> Darcy is not subtle. We should go on a I date. I love just them. Us. They should go on a date, just them. It's alright if you don't want to. Charlie, stop second guessing yourself. We should. We should. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I would like that too for you guys. <sighs> I think it's because we're friends too. Seems obvious, but you should be really good friends with the person you're dating. Darcy, you are not subtle at all. <laughs> Elle's gonna be like, bitch, what are you doing? What are you doing? What yeah. do you mean? You're clearly trying to set something up between me and Tal. Just because you two came out doesn't mean I also want to share all my secret. I don't want yeah. anything else to change. Yeah. Her situation's a little bit more complicated. Did you know this too? The me and Tal thing? We thought it would be fun to go on a triple date. <gasps> you and Charlie. Ah! Yeah. You two are together. Oh my god. Oh my god. We love this. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. I mean, I'm happy for you too, but you didn't have to witness all the months of intense pining. <laughs> <laughs> what about Tal? Tao does not know because Tao is a little protective. But he's the only one who doesn't know. Yeah. Probably the worst situation. Okay, I'm nervous about when Tao finds out because we know that Tao does not like change. I'm nervous. When am I not nervous watching this show though? <sighs> Stop. Oh, I love oh. Stop it, they're really cute. Okay, it's so funny though because in the beginning I thought it was Tao who liked Elmore. Lesbian disease. <laughs> I'm a bitch slap some of these girls. Oh, they're gonna get locked in. <gasps> oh, baby. I just want some peace and quiet. The door! Oh, no. I think so many people would suddenly think I'm a completely different person. They don't mm. think that. They do. I just want to live my life. That's so hard. Oh, baby. I still feel like I know nothing. I don't know anything either. No one knows anything. Takes a while to ignore all of the bullshit from other people. 
And then they get their little animations. I love it. They're locked in that room, so they can't really do anything other than kiss for a little bit. Tara? Homophobia! <laughs> Not the homophobia! That's iconic. <laughs> hey, you guys supposed to be on stage like right now. You know what can't run, it's not my fault. <laughs> Why was he running like that? You gonna be okay? Yeah, I'll be okay. Yeah, they'll be okay. I love that Nick feels comfortable enough to start coming out to people. That just like melted my little heart. I love the bisexual representation, especially the male bisexual representation, because I feel like it's almost never represented in any sort of like TV or film or anything like that. I love seeing Elle have like her little animations when she looks at Tao because I, from the beginning, I kind of pegged it as Tao had feelings for Elle. So I don't know if we're gonna start to see Tao having feelings for Elle in the last two episodes. We only have two episodes left, y'all. Two episodes. That's insane, we have two episodes left. I can't believe, oh my God. I don't know how this is gonna end. Uh, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna get? I just need everyone to fall in love and be happy. And then I need something good for Isaac too, because right now Isaac is like the seventh wheel. <laughs> because there's Tara and Darcy, there's Nick and Charlie, and there's Tao and Elle if they get together. And then there's Isaac. And <laughs> Isaac's just chilling, observing everybody. Um, I need something, something good and happy for Isaac too. I wanna see more of him. He's just like a sweet little bean. I'm like, I'm just like so happy for all of them. I feel like we had a lot of growth this, ep uh, this th like these last two episodes. We had some like really great relationship developments. I'm just like, I'm very happy overall. I think we had really good moments and I'm so pleased. I think we have good things coming. I think we're gonna get some resolution. I hope people stop being dickheads. I hope I don't have to fight anyone else. Probably will, but, and I'll fight him. I'll fight him. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and watching these two episodes of Heartstopper. If you guys liked it, you can like the video. You can subscribe down below. You can join me as I finish out Heartstopper with the last two episodes in the next video. Very excited to see how this ends. I feel like it's been a long time coming. I had fun, I hope you guys had fun. Happy Pride Month. I hope you're having a wonderful, safe, happy month. You're valid, I love you. And I will see you guys next time for the finale of Heartstopper, guys. The finale, the last two episodes. Until we get more in August. I honestly kind of started this at the perfect time because I'm only gonna have to wait another month <laughs> to watch more. So make sure you stick around, make sure you subscribe because once August comes around, we're gonna be watching more Heartstopper as soon as season two comes out. So, very excited, can't wait. Okay, bye.